out today on the lake <coughs> where I grew up as a child. <coughs> this lake is called Desdash Lake, and it's very, very beautiful. It's a big lake. If you're in Taiwan, this lake is probably, I don't know, four or six times bigger than Sun Moon Lake. And these mountains, these forests, this is where I grew up <coughs> as a child. But there's something changing here. There's a lot changing here. Because of climate change, uh, we can see many, many different changes, especially in the forest. If you look around at the forest, there used to be forests of green spruce trees. But now those forests, many of them are brown and they're dead. All those trees, those spruce trees are dead. The other green trees, that's a different kind of tree. That's a poplar tree. But those uh, spruce trees are mostly dead. And the reason is there's a small bug called a spruce beetle. And this little bug goes into the, the bark of the tree and will kill the tree. Before, the winters used to keep this bug under control. The winters were long and cold, and it was enough to push down the spruce beetle and keep it down. So it wasn't a problem before. But now, the winters are not so cold as before, and not as long as before. And so we can see the result. The spruce beetle is just going crazy out here. And there are huge dead forests, and many of them in the Yukon will burn. And when they burn, when the forest fires happen, then that CO2 goes into the atmosphere and it just continues global warming. A lot of other things, the, the wasps, we have so many of them now. I got stung seven times on this trip. I've never been stung in my life before in the Yukon, and now the forest is buzzing with wasps. The pollen, you know, the flower, the flowers let off the pollen and the trees let off the pollen. The pollen is probably eight times, eight to ten times higher than it usually is. And we're seeing other bugs, other insects that are killing different kinds of leaves and things. So we can see how climate change is really showing itself strong in the Arctic and Antarctic parts of the Earth. <clears throat> I really hope, as my little baby takes a nap right there in this beautiful canoe on this beautiful day on this beautiful lake, I hope he can grow up in a world that becomes more beautiful, uh, not going the direction that it's going now.